questions from quarantine. Hello, Salem Heights, and welcome to another episode of Questions from Quarantine. Uh, this week, we're answering the question, what are you, the Greens, doing while in quarantine? Uh, also answering, how are you doing uh, in that order? But the question came in, um, how are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, a short while ago, and it took me a little while to make sure I got permission to answer uh, all those uh, questions, but um, I'll just uh, go through uh, how our family's been doing just by individuals. Uh, it, it's actually been uh, an enlightening time and a time that has caused us not only to stretch, uh, but to improve in some areas. And so um, Ellie has, uh, during this uh, last short season, rediscovered her love of art. Uh, I would love for you to be able to uh, answer this question for me very quickly. I'll show you a couple of pictures here. Uh, but the question I want you to answer is, was it on the ark? Um, she has uh, created some pictures of animals. Some of them are actual and some of them are creatures that should not have been united. Was it on the ark? But also uh, she has uh, remembered her love for animals. When we started in quarantine, uh, we only had a couple of finches in addition to her goldfish and her dog and other various things that are around the house now. Uh, but within short order, we ended up with five finches. And so uh, she's been finding homes for those. Uh, also, Paige has been doing school. As many of you have been learning how to do school from home, she's been uh, doing school while she's here and then preparing for a wedding. August 8th, her and Brett are still getting married, but uh, it's, as you can imagine, has offered us some challenges in this season, both in preparation and in anticipation. Uh, is it possible that we have to look at some modifications and so uh, be praying for them as they prepare. Brendan has been preparing also uh, stuff from home. He's been working on schoolwork. Uh, he has been helping me with these videos uh, and then also has uh, been doing his music. And uh, some of you may have seen uh, the song that he put out there uh, uh, at Easter time, um, some stuff that he has been writing, but he's been focused on music as well. Christina Sweetness has been um, teaching from home and teaching kids to learn from home. That's been a tough uh, learning curve, but she's done, uh, really enjoyed it and has had a fun time uh, with the process. She and Ellie were in a short, um, procession. They uh, actually were part of a parade in West Salem for their school and uh, that was a pretty special thing for them to be a part of. And I've just been learning how to do church from home and uh, this kind of stuff, the learning curve for me is way up. I would prefer to uh, be face to face with everybody. But that has been how the Greens uh, or what the Greens have been doing. Uh, how we've been doing uh, there are some folks who thought that uh, probably in our household, as uh, soon as quarantine hit, we were all just, uh, you know, quoting Bible verses to each other, meditating and being peaceful. Uh, that is not the case. Uh, we've been learning, just like you have, how to be in close quarters, how to engage with one another, how to find space. You might notice the backdrop uh, around here is a little bit... Uh, different than what is normal, um, what I've been doing. Uh, we've been trying to find space uh, because of our limited uh, internet access, but also just trying to make sure that uh, everybody can get what they need done, done. It's been a uh, fun learning curve, but also uh, it has been um, new. It's been, it's come with some rub. There's uh, uh, a lot of things that we're looking forward to. Um, we talk about it on a regular basis. We're thankful for what we're learning about ourselves. We're thankful for uh, some of the things that uh, we've been challenged with, but we are really looking forward to uh, being able to see people again, uh, to be able to worship in a gathering. Uh, we 
as a family are hungry for that sense of connection. And uh, that is one thing that we are missing very much. So uh, we are very thankful for you. I'm thankful for those questions. Uh, along that line, I'm going to ask uh, that you consider something. Um, would you be willing to share a testimony of your life? Um, I've just shared a little bit about what we've been doing, uh, not a direct testimony, um, but we're going to start sharing testimonies at our church. Um, and I'm going to ask you to do this. I'm going to ask you to, first of all, share your testimony with your family. If you're an adult, share with them how you came to Christ uh, or share with your family uh, a major hurdle that it took the Lord to transform something in you in order to produce uh, his good effect in order for him to be glorified in your life. So I want you to share that testimony with your family. Um, and then I would love, if possible, for you to share it with us. Uh, consider um, putting a testimony um, uh, to either uh, my uh, email address um, or to Pete's address at the church. Um, and if uh, uh, if we get those before Thursday, we're going to start vetting some of those and putting those out once a week as uh, uh, we get some of your testimonies in at the church. We would uh, love to be able to start sharing testimonies of how Christ has transformed our congregation and sharing our stories with each other. Uh, just remember to make sure that uh, you keep it short and sweet, um, uh, but make the emphasis on Christ. God is doing amazing things in us in this season. Uh, but also, he has already done amazing things in us, and it's a good season for us to be reminded of what he has accomplished. So, would you consider sending us your testimony? I pray that you will. God bless you.